from the Scripps Studios. This is 10 News. Good afternoon, I'm Brian Schlonsky with this 10 News update. New details about a violent car crash in Ramona yesterday. CHP saying one of the drivers was under the influence. Witnesses say that a white Mercedes was going west on Dye Road when the driver went into oncoming traffic, hitting a Subaru in a pickup truck. The driver of that Mercedes is the one who police say they believe was driving under the influence of either drugs or alcohol. That driver and the driver of the pickup truck are still in the hospital after suffering major injuries. A new transportation report suggests that a ballot measure could fund a trolley line to the airport. Also, it could have money to fix potholes and even more than that, they call this study a roadmap for legislators who would ultimately draft the measure. Then voters would have the final say on whether a half cent sales tax increase, for instance, is worth it. A local group trying to fight hunger. They are distributing fresh produce today to folks in southeast San Diego. More than 10,000 pounds of produce will be given out at the monthly Farm to Family Fair hosted by San Diego Continuing Education Foundation. It's today at the Educational Cultural Complex that is on Ocean View Boulevard. All right, turning now to our weather, kind of a wild weather morning. What is in store <laughs> for later, Megan? Yeah, we had a lot of lightning overnight and early this morning. There's really only a very slim chance for any more thunderstorm activity. However, we are going to see showers building into the afternoon and evening. Mostly light to moderate, but the occasional heavy shower will be possible. Temperatures in the 60s for the coast and valleys today, 50s in the mountains and near 80 in the deserts. We'll see a few light isolated showers tomorrow morning, but most of tomorrow will be dry. Tomorrow night into Friday, a colder storm comes on in. It will bring scattered showers once again on Friday and much colder temperatures in the 50s for the coast and valleys and accumulating snow above 5,000 feet in our mountains. Brian? All right, Megan, thank you for the latest news, weather, and traffic. Head over to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app. It's free in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Brian Shalonsky.